H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Do you know your A B C of how to tell a story? Tell me more. Tell me now. If you don't know, then let me tell you how. Hi, this is Ritu Parna, and I'm back with A B C of storytelling, my weekly video blog of storytelling tips, tricks, techniques, and secrets. Everything that I pull out from my story bag just for you. We're almost at the middle of the series with the letter L and this week we have two L's for you. L for language, L for listening. Let's begin with the first L, L for language. Stories or storytelling is one of the oldest ways to teach language to a child. Uh, right from when a child is born, uh, from when the child is in the womb, a child is listening to the mother, to the father, to the environment that he or she is growing up in. That's where they pick up language skills, they will pick up words, they learn to respond to particular sounds or even to a certain lullabies. Um, as, at the same time, as the child grows up, uh, if a child is being brought up in a multilingual household where there are lots of languages being spoken, it's one of the best environments the, that one could give a child because it is only by listening to stories or listening to conversation does a child develop language. So therefore, if you have a multilingual household, you want to raise a multilingual child, go ahead and tell stories in the languages that you speak. Um, at home, uh, we are Bengali, so we have Bangla, we have English and we have of Hindi. Um, when I was raising my child, I was, and I still am, when I, when my child was small, I would be reading uh, to him stories in English. I would be telling him stories in Bangla because I wanted him to know his mother tongue well enough. Uh, Hindi came the third became the third language in the house because I knew once he started school, he would pick up Hindi uh, just like that. And that's what happened. Today, if I tell him a story in English, he can translate it beautifully and tell it again in Hindi, in, in, in Bangla or vis-a-vis -vis in, in Hindi. Um, so I think that's one of the best ways. Um, expose your child to multiple languages. Let them pick up uh, the linguistic nuances. Let, let them pick up the flavors of the language as they grow up by listening to stories. The second L that we have for you is listening. Um, as a storyteller, it's very, very, very important for you to know whether your audience is listening to you at all or not. Um, so there are lots of tricks uh, that you can try. One of them being, of course, having a simple chant or a hymn or a beat or a rhythm that uh, can be repeated by your audience. Uh, so for example, in one of the fe festivals that I was in, uh, it was called Bukuru, I uh, created something like the Bukuru chant. And uh, it went something as simple, simple as this, that um, every time in the, in the middle of the story, I peppered it with the Bukuru chant and I would stop the story and I would go, hookah, buka, hookah, buka, hookah, buka, roo. And my audience had to sing back, Bukuru, Bukuru. So again, I would uh, continue with the story and I would stop again. I would say, chuka, buka, chuka, buka, chuka, buka, roo. And my audience had to say, Bukuru, Bukuru. So uh, the, the time taken for them to respond, the, the volume of their Bukuru, Bukuru, the energy with which they, uh, uh, you know, got back to me uh, with, with the chant told me how much they are listening. Uh, it's important for me as a storyteller to keep my audience um, uh, you know, all all together, so that they hang on to every word of mine. I have to be listening. Uh, I have to be. In, I have to ensure that they are listening to everything that I say. So uh, that was that's one of the ways that you could do it. Sometimes, if not a, a verbal cue, it could also be an action. So, uh, for example, um, in another story that I tell, um, I get all the children to pick up their rifle guns and go. Dish -dish. So um, typically all children do that and I said, so what do you think he did? Uh, what do you think the hunter did? And they all, um, by cue, they know it. They're supposed to pick up their rifles and they're supposed to go, uh, you know, uh, go bang, bang. So um, that's one of the another ways I, kn I know I can test uh, the, whether my audience is listening to me or not. A storyteller does not exist in isolation. Uh, a storyteller exists because there is a listener, there is an audience. Go ahead and test your audience's listening skills, whether they are listening well or not. Create a hymn, create a chant, create an action, get them to um, have a nice quick uh, a word with you in the middle of a story. That tells you whether your audience or your listeners are glued into your story. Um, until next week, um, have a lot of fun with stories. 
keep following your story bag and remember 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 to write to us and share with us if these tips are helping you uh, like i said we are in the middle of the series and we still have some more uh, a lot of letters to go and we are very excited about how uh, these series this series is being received by all of you um, so until next week happy storytelling tada bye bye